Hey viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV in a very windy South Yorkshire. It's first versus second, Wheatley versus Anston. So it's Anston in first against Wheatley in second here at Wrighton Road today. And Anston are the only team in this league who have a better recent record than us. Fantastic winning run stretching back to their only league defeat of the season against, let me just check my notes, oh, us. Uh, in the upload entitled Smothered. And this is the sort of match that Wheatley need to win if we've got any real ambition to capture that only promotion spot to the sunlit uplands of Notts Premier League Division 2. Should be a belter. Wheatley in the field, Jono Ellis opening the bowling. Good start. Oh, that's nice from Jono. Oh, that squirted down to Toby, at third man, and that's Anson's first run. Oh, Toby Smith opening up from this end. A bit too full from Toby that time. That's uh, been bunted down the ground for a four. That's a nice shot, a good stop by Cal at catching cover. That's clipped fine, and that's another boundary. Oh! Oh, that's a super shot. Through mid wicket for four. Oh, that's a good reply from Jono. Toby coming around the wicket now. Rain side to fall. Um, and we're going off here. Oh dear. Literally 30 seconds later, this wind's blowing that shower through. <laughs> and they've had to take the single cover they've managed to get on off. After the world's shortest delay, Toby's back on. Oh, I remember him. Is that the lad who got in? Oh, that's nice from John Oak. That's clipped out to mid wicket, but it's well run. Oh dear, Toby's twinged something there. Oh, and that's potentially hurt Toby and the bat there. It's not looking good, this. Some manipulation here from toppers. <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, I think we should stop bowling now, Toby. <laughs> you don't want to permanently injure yourself. And rather sensibly, Toby's coming off here. Eddie's going to complete the over. Oh, that's gone up miles. And it's down. Oh, three, my dog. Toppers has a shine. That would have been gone. That's stick fine, and that's four. Behind square, George is after it, and it'll only be one. Drill down the ground, that is a super shot. That's gone for four. It's chipped in the air, there's no one there. With Toby crocked, we've got big Cal Rutherford coming on. Clipped really pleasantly through square leg, and that's four. Free hit here. Lovely stuff from Mad Dog Carey there. 
Oh, it's straight through him and Cal gets a breakthrough. Oh, this is good bowling from Cal. Oh, that's gone up. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not out, and they get two. That's in the air as well. He's got that over the top. Uh, it's gone for four. Stick back in, but I think that was going down. Lovely and full again from Cal, that's the length. And that's Mr. Martin off the mark with a little dab behind square on the onside. That was a no ball, so this is a free hit. Mr. Roddis comes out, slams it out into the onside. It's brilliantly stopped out there, and it's only one in the end. That's in the air! Oh, it's a really tough chance for Tom, the catching cover. 12 overs gone, 48 for one, answered up. That's swatted, three square leg for four. Another life for Mr. Roddis. He takes two. Oh, wow. That is a shot of utter disdain. It's gone for four. Well done. There, you go. there we go again. That's his shot. Superbly played for another four. Shot down, well stopped by Bushy. Oh, that's another steepler. And this time it's taken. Mad Dog up to the stumps now. Oh, that's a ripper from Cal. <laughs> oh, is that out? It's not. Ooh, we're taking a quick one to top us, and it's well run. Flicked over the top, and that's bobbling out for four. There is a brooding bank of jet black cloud about to uh, head over the ground here, viewer. Ah! That's chipped off and just in front of Eddie. Oh, this is good stuff from Cal. Some of Anson's players coming over to man the covers for the inevitable uh, rain that's coming. That's chopped down behind square on the offside, fielded well, and they return for two. Well, the weather has put paid to the match so far, and also to the Robin Hood themed fair. Have you ever seen a more abandoned fairground in your life, viewer? Oh well, now you can do about the weather. We have movement, viewer. We've uh, had a horrific band of thunder, lightning, wind and rain uh, sweep through this area, but now we've got a superb stretch of blue sky uh, over Sheffield Way that's heading in this direction. So it gives me about enough time to tell you about the bar situation, viewer. So last night uh, we had a vote at the committee meeting and Jimmy's Bar is now the new name for the bar. 
Big money and big cricket win yet again, viewer. Jimmy flaunting his wad of cash around like he's Louis XIV. And anyway, that's the name of the bar going forward, but I've had enough of this, viewer. I'm starting a revolution, and you don't need to be Poirot to work out who's going to be the first person in the overcrowded shark tank. Well, we're back on, viewer. Uh, needless to say, we've lost a few overs. It's going to be a 41 over a side match, but we're bathed in sunshine in here at Anston now. Oh, that has boomed. Oh, Cal, please don't be injured. 18 overs completed. Anson 73 for two. Made a really good start here. And Cal Harrison's coming on with a bit of off spin. Bit of purchase, first ball. It's uh, nudged out to the mid wicket sweeper. For one. We have. Jimmy's bar owner, Jimmy Nixon here. How you doing, mate? I'm okay, thanks, Pax. I'm okay. I've got a bit of a, a team update for you. Um, right. As you can see there, Toby's squinting, so he's going to come off in a minute, and we've uh, we've dragged in Aidan Blake. Well, I mean, what kind of replacement would you prefer, oh, well, really? I know. Fantastic to hear. Um, but not great for Toby, and um, also Cal looked like he twitched something and, after his first ball yeah, back. Yeah, not good. Not good. Um, and um, what, what happened to Tongi then? Tongi's not playing today. Can you explain why? It was quite a late... Um, pull out, wasn't it? Well, from my understanding, because I wasn't out at the time. Of course not. Uh, I went home an hour earlier, but yes. about three o'clock in the morning, he's walking his mate home. His mate falls over. He goes to try and catch him and gets impaled with a, uh, a like a spike, metal spike, up in his armpit. Yikes. Rings Paul Knight at three thirty in the morning to take him to hospital. Oh my god! So he's got about twenty stitches under his armpit. Oh no! Is he all right? Yeah, yeah. He's part of. He's going to get fines for going clean out. <laughs> Quite right too. <laughs> Um, and in terms of um, being impaled by a metal spike, that doesn't sound like he's going to be playing uh, a lot in the next couple of weeks. I don't think so, mate. No, he's uh, not looking well until the stitches come out. Don't oh, what a shame. Yeah. Not wrong at all. Oh, dearie me. We went. Is that stumping? No, that was really quick work from Dog. Really well fielded by Cal. Oh, that was a shy at the non striker's end and hit the bat in the end. Let's nice, put pressure on mid off there, that's good running. Drilled and stopped by Cowboy's foot, and that one stone. Oh, that has been swatted, and that's gone for four. Oh dear, that's been flicked down the hind square on the onside for another four. What? <laughs> that's been That's a good stop by Tom. Cut away. Uh, three point. It's going to be fielded out there. Good teamwork. And they come back for two. And again. This time, it's time much better. And that's four. Another cut, but this time Toppers is stationed Eddie out there. It's only one. It's gone all the way out. There is a man out there, but it's beaten him. And that's four. 100 up for Anston here. As Cal comes in. It's just tucked off his pads. He's going to look for two here. Eddie can throw it left or right arm. And this time he goes left arm. And it's only one. Free hit. 
And that's Wild Ball back out. That's Wild Ball back out. That's been absolutely smashed for a six. Oh, that's a ripper from Cal. Well bold. Nudge down. George picks up and it's a good run. 13 overs to go here. Anson looking really good on 117 for two. Oh, and he's going to have a go here, but they've uh, run it very well. And it's well backed up by Cal. Those with their eye on the rain radar suggest that rain is going to be with us in about seven or eight minutes view it so uh, match is going to be either ended or disrupted throughout its entire length that is superb bowling by Lee. that's a super shot that's four runs rain starting to come down now slightly earlier than predicted He's gone across his stumps there. Huge appeal by Eddie. Turned down. And it's gone down for a leg bye. Drill down the ground. Jono's out there. And it's gone through him for four. Please don't be injured, Jono. We don't need another one. <laughs> Rain started to come down a bit heavier now. This will probably get the umpires a bit twitchy. Oh, that's been fetched from outside, off stump, and that's gone for six. Mr Crooks and Mr Martin have propelled Anston to 140 for two uh, with 11.3 to go. Oh, edged, fine. Let's come down here. Aiden feels well. Oh. Aiden did feel that well uh, originally, but unfortunately carried it over the boundary. Absolutely no idea where this rain is coming from. <laughs> White fluffy clouds above us. Just utterly bizarre weather today. It's been launched up and over. Oh, it's a good effort by Bushy. And that's gone for four. Dabbed into the offside and he picks up, but that's really well judged. If you can hear me, view it, that's 150 up for Anston. <laughs> 150 for two. It's carted out. It's gone over Jono, over the hedge, and six. Oh, that speared in by Cal, really well bowled. Eddie's coming round the wicket now. That's a lazy swipe. Just under 10 overs to go in Anson's innings here. It's nicely bowled by Eddie. Squirted down fine to Aiden. Gets it back into Dog and it's kept to one. Driven in the air, straight to Annie, and that's out. The end of a sublime knock from James Martin. Swatted out towards Bushy. He stops it and Buddick is off the mark. Scrambled single, it's well judged. That is superb bowling from Cal. Oh, that's thrashed over the top, and that is one bounce for. Oh dear, that's a wild one. That'll be no ball. This is a free hit for Budica. And that has been absolutely carted for an absolutely towering six. That is an absolutely delightful dab down behind square on the offside for four. 
sequence of 464 has boosted Anson's total to 179 for three. It's well bowled by Eddie. They take a very quick single. Tom has a shine. It's well backed up by Cal. Drilled out to George. Long on for a single. George Postlethwaite coming on at the top end. Slow of all to start. It's been pushed out to the cover sweeper. Cut away expertly down for another four. This is box up for his batting from Budica. Slow ball from George. It's picked and punched out for a single. Oh gosh, that has gone absolutely miles. That's six. Well, <laughs> Budica is on 33 or 15 balls. Nathan Crooks is on 49. Bunts it down the ground, and that brings up a really well compiled half century. Well played. Flip neatly in the air. That's going out to Bushy. He's going to launch it back in and prevent the second. Nicely dabbed down to Aiden. And that's another single. Oh gosh, it's all going off there. <laughs> it's a single in the end. It's a tougher chance than the one he put down earlier from Bushy, but he's thoroughly fed up with himself. Kicked at the hedge there. Oh dear, it's been utterly marmalised for another six from Budica. 200 up for Anston, and they have batted absolutely brilliantly. Beautifully played, but it doesn't beat Aiden. He's right on the edge of the ring. That's what. Nicely chopped down. Oh dear, it's uh, gone past Aiden. 4 4. Oh, it's just gone over the top of Aiden. It's another 4 for Budica. the top of Bushy for another six. Well, Anston superstar overseas players on 45 off 19 balls, four fours and four sixes. As he goes for another one, this time gets a leg by into the offside. Cut flowers, edge down. I'm gonna to have to probably edit out some swearing there and that's gone for a four. Well, bye bye, George. Followed him, and it's only a single. That's gone straight over top of his head. That's a six, and that is an utterly mesmerising, explosive 50 from a really superb player. Hats off. Uh, two. These two have put on 80 in the blink of an eye. Oh, that has gone miles up in the air. Tom's underneath it and pouches it. Well, with that wicket, can Wheatley stem this um, tidal wave of runs that's uh, heading our way? initially that's well stopped by Cal a point for the first time this season viewer <laughs> Toppers is bringing himself on oh dear that's uh, a loose snap and it's popped over the top for a four shots into his pad non-strike has gone and it's hit the bat dog appeals we're obstructing the field, I presume. The umpire's having none of it. Top is a now. Yeah. So, 
Top. Oh, bowl by toppers. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's interesting. George Poss bowling the final over of this excellent Anston innings. 2 4 5 for four they are. It's gone out to Cal at deep square leg for a single. That's well bowled by George. Go on, stop the single though. Cut away. It's really well stopped out there by Eddie. The two brings up the 250 for Anston. Cut away again. Again, Eddie Fields. This time it's only one. Bunted down the ground. That's gone past Jono. And that's a four. Again, the bar early. George spears that one in. And that is the end of a very chastening innings by Anston. Well, our hosts have put together an utterly blistering batting display there, showing why they're top of the league at the moment. They finished on 256 for four of their 41 overs, and Wheatley are going to have to get their batting boots on to get anywhere near this total. While the covers are being uh, put on here, we're very lucky on Wheatley TV to have such a dedicated group of watchers and followers, um, but they don't come much more dedicated than uh, Dale Tyra, who joins me here. How are you doing, Dale? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Where have you come from today? Uh, a little town called Aberton, near Bolton. That is above and beyond. Yeah. Uh, what, what have you made of that um, that innings then? Superb. I thought uh, they batted superb. They did uh, special innings from the two lads in the middle order of the... What did, what was, what's the lad's name? Uh, Budica. Budica came in and absolutely... Batted unbelievable. He looked uh, on a different level, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got our uh, work cut out in this second innings. Um, what, what do you think our prospects are? Yeah. It, well, if you keep the wickets, you never know. It's quite a small ground square, isn't it? And uh, keep your wickets in the tent. Could do with Bushy getting a decent score and try and bat round him, really. Um, but it all depends on the weather as well. Well, welcome to Wheatley's innings. Uh, we've got a stiff task ahead. We need 257. And uh, we've got Nathan Crooks open the bowling. And Wheatley are underway straight away. So, no, we have the one about three seasons. Oh, that's well bowled. Oh, again, nicely bowled. <laughs> that's edge. Is that Bounce. out? That bounced. And it's been given. Tom comes in. Bushy plays that down nice and comfortably for his second run. That's edged by Tom. And that's two down for Wheatley. And he in at four. Oh, is that out? That's been turned down by the umpire. Good grief. Two for two of two. Yeah. Oh, it's gone out to point on the bounce. Oh, has he trapped him? LBW, he has. Wheatley find themselves three for three off three overs and there's a huge bank of dark cloud uh, looming in the distance and um, we probably wouldn't mind that coming over right about now. <laughs> All joking aside, Anston have played brilliantly throughout this match and 
they've taken their superb uh, form from their batting innings straight into their bowling here. Yowks, this looks evil. That's edge by Cal, down to third man, and he's off the mark. <laughs> Cut by Cal, stopped by point. Lewis Brearley coming on uh, as Anson try and race through these overs before this inevitable rain comes. Oh my gosh, it is really coming now and everyone's running off. <laughs> People are absolutely diving for cover as the Anston team go above and beyond getting these covers on. Top work lads. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that biblical downpour from earlier has uh, gone away and an industrial sized effort to get this ground fit to play is being undertaken uh, by Anston. Uh, un completely understandably from their point of view, they'll want to get this match wrapped up. Also equally understandably, um, if I was toppers and the Wheatley boys I would be in the umpire's ear saying I don't want to break my ankles on this thanks ump we need to call this off so we'll just have to keep tabs on what the umpires are up to and despite all the efforts of Anston fielders um, the weather has just been a bit too much and the game has been called off well all bias aside um, that is an absolute travesty of justice for Anston uh, they were absolutely all over this game if we smothered them in that first game we played against them this season, then they were throttling us in this one. So, Wheatley have a match in hand now over Anston. If we win that, we will be top of the league outright. Um, somewhat fortuitously, uh, to use a healthy dose of British understatement. But uh, that's wrapped up from here at Wrighton Road as the rain uh, comes down once again. Thanks for watching us, Vera, and we'll see you next week. All best.